Hi, in this video, I'm going to be discussing template filters for your tea jelly bean. Let's get started. I'm currently already on my tea jelly bean screen. You can tell so here in the top left hand corner where it says telephone and web encounters. If you look all the way to the right of my screen, you have this little icon listed here. This is where you can set your filter default. Now what this means is where you have your assigned to field over here on the left hand side, you have the option to create different templates here. So instead of always viewing my own personal assigned to, I can create different templates to view other users. Keep in mind that this is a security setting. Once I click on my select filter defaults, having this button set right here, this allows me to create my own filters. If you do not have this button listed here, that just means you do not have that security attribute allowing you to create your own. Either way, you would still be able to use the ones that have already been created for you. To see a list of different defaults that have been created, you can click this drop down arrow and see a list of all the ones right here. So, for example, if I wanted to view everyone in pod one, they're assigned to telephone or web encounters, I can simply click on pod one and it's going to apply all of those users here into my assigned to field. Now, notice nothing changed down here. I do have to actually click this apply button and then it's going to update it for me. So now I can see all 20 um, telephone and or web encounters that is listed in that pod one template. If I would like to create a template of my own, if I do have that appropriate access allowing me to do so, I'm going to do so by clicking on my ellipses next to my assign to field. And I'm going to select the appropriate user, so I'm just going to make a few different selections here. I'll click my OK button so that now I am viewing all of those users assigned to. And then I'm going to come over here on this right hand side to that new template filter button. I'm going to name it, so I'm going to say this is pod two, and I'm going to hit my set button. I'm going to get this little green pop up down here in the bottom right hand corner, letting me know that a new template has been created. And now moving forward, that is going to be in my drop down list. Keep in mind that this list is global, meaning everyone shares this exact same list. That concludes our video. Thank you for joining.